During the Second World War, German aircraft were seen in abundance in the skies over Europe and North Africa. They came in many shapes and sizes, fulfilling a variety of different roles. The colours featured on these aircraft varied greatly, some sporting camouflage patterns, whilst others a simple grey finish. But many Luftwaffe planes, including fighter aircraft such as the Messerschmitt Bf 109, would feature a yellow nose. And have you ever wondered why they had this colour? In today's video, we ask the question, why were German planes painted yellow? If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. The yellow painting question was first noted by RAF pilots tackling the Luftwaffe over the skies of Great Britain in August 1940. This was nearly a full year since the beginning of World War II, so it may be surprising to know that this colour wasn't seen on German aircraft during the first years of the invasions of France and the Low Countries. The British pilots initially came up against the BF-109 fighters with these yellow markings, and some pilots interpreted these to possibly be German aces, but this though wasn't the case. Since the dawn of aircraft being used for warfare, there existed a need to ensure that planes were invisible to the enemy, but still identifiable to friendly forces. You would assume though that, for example, British and German fighters having different wing and canopy shapes would make them easy to distinguish between one another. On the ground, sure, a Spitfire and a BF-109 look totally different, but in the air, going 350 miles an hour, you might begin to have some trouble. Aircraft would typically have markings representing the force they were fighting for, and with the British and Germans, they couldn't be more different. The German Balkenkreuz, or Bar Cross, was a fairly distinguishable symbol, as were the Royal Air Force roundels. But again, in the heat of an aerial dogfight, some pilots can miss even the most obvious indicators. Some of the first German planes to have recorded use of these yellow markings are Jugendgeschwader 26 and 54, those being fighter wings within the Luftwaffe. The yellow paint was mainly applied to the tail plane and wingtips, as well as the top and trailing edge of the tail rudder. Some units, though, were quick to extend the areas of paint coverage to include the cowlings, or nose area of the plane, and the whole rudder itself. The main suggested reason for this added paint marking was to assist German pilots in instantly recognising their fellow aircraft, therefore lessening the risk of friendly fire. Some believe the yellow paint were invasion markings, as they first appeared during the Battle of Britain, which was the prelude to Operation Sea Lion, the intended invasion of Britain. This would somewhat be supported later in the war when Operation Overlord took place, the invasion of mainland Europe by the Allies. Aircraft in this instance donned invasion stripes, black and white lines on the wings and tails of planes, to assist in identification. But there's no suggestion the Germans had this in mind in 1940. As the war went on, the yellow markings were extended to include other aircraft. Fokker Wolf FW-190s and Junkers JU-87s also frequently utilised the paint. Even bombers such as the Heinkel HE-111 and the Junkers JU-88 would feature small markings on either their wingtips or the rear of the fuselage. Some Allied aircraft were recorded as having yellow markings, for example on the leading edge of some Spitfires. Further to that, a version of the RAF roundels had an outer yellow circle, but when it comes to yellow paint on the nose of an aircraft, this strictly belonged to the Luftwaffe. Was the use of the yellow paint successful? It's hard to gauge. There were certainly less reports of German pilots shooting down friendly aircraft after it was implemented, but the losses of German aircraft overall increased as the war went on. Aircraft would typically come to the unit painted in a standard grey colour, with the unit being responsible for adding camouflage or additional markings. So you can appreciate that in the latter stages of the war, the luxury of time to add yellow markings wasn't there, so late war versions of this are hard to find. But overall, it was a decent concept, and one which may have continued if the Luftwaffe had won the Battle of Britain.
Did you know this was the reason for German planes being painted yellow? If not, what did you think the reason was? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.